Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to format your book in Vellum. Um, so Vellum is a paid program that makes a very polished end result in your book formatting. It's something very user-friendly, very easy to learn. Um, and one thing about it is it is Macintosh only. So I'm going to go ahead sign into this and get our Mac desktop set up so we can get started on this. So I'm all signed in. So if you have a Macintosh computer, a laptop, a computer, anything that you use, um, you won't need this sort of workaround like we have here. Um, but for the purposes of us using PCs, you may need to look into something similar where you're able to stream a server. But once you have your Mac all set up, however you decide to do that, you're going to use Vellum. Now, like I said, Vellum is a great program, we're going to go ahead and skip that for now, to format your books. And this is what Vellum looks like. We're going to import the Word file. Now, we have a folder attached on here for all of our books. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. For this one, I made a new folder. I grabbed one of our books, and this is going to open up in Vellum. And it's pretty straightforward because it imports a lot of it already. For this book specifically, everything's already broken into chapters. Sometimes it'll come up a little funny and you just need to adjust things, but for the most part, it works perfectly. So the only things you need to go ahead and set up are like all of your information for the book, because a lot of it does immediately auto-populate, but not all of it will. So this is okay, it's already got that. And then we just need to add our book cover, which is in the same folder. Makes it easier as long as you have something connected between the two. It makes it easier to just have everything set aside and ready. And all you really need is a Word document and your image file for this. And then when we do this, we're going to actually get rid of this because that one is automatic. You go ahead and all editions. That way it doesn't get rid of the table of contents for your print version. And usually I'll go ahead and make sure at least the first few makes sense looks correct so what i normally make sure to do is i will pull up my word file and in that word file i can just double check all of this to make sure that these match up and in my word document yep looking about right all right and now I notice that the description is in here thankfully it does not show there so I'm actually going to clean this up because it doesn't say afterward here but it does say conclusion and we are going to add chapter elements we're going to add a copyright and now we're going to put the copyright right here and then we just click off of created with vellum because it just sort of adds an advertisement into your book but that way if you need to make any adjustments to your copyright this is perfectly fine and then at that point your book is for the most part finished but we are going to go ahead and file save that way if there's any issues you can always go back to this file here, but we're going to generate and we're going to make sure we end up in the correct source folder, which is this new folder here. And we are generating a Kindle version, a Google, a generic and a print version. So we're going to generate that. All right. And so what I see here is when I go here, 
does show all of those versions here. You have your EPUB right here in the generic folder. You have your print version, which is where you will go ahead and find things like your page count, so that when you go to order a print copy of your cover, you'll know exactly how many pages, because they often ask so that they can make the spine the correct width for you. Um, and if you need a Google Play or a Kindle specific version, they're also in here, but you can just use this generic EPUB for any reason that you need it for. And that's it. Like, it really only took me just a couple minutes to get this book up and formatted. It was pretty quick. Now, obviously, this is the most ideal. This book went in properly. 90% of the time, it will. Um, Vellum is very good about being like a professional program. Um, for the most part, you don't really need to mess around with stuff. It's always good practice to go ahead and make sure that everything is showing up properly. But you don't necessarily have to worry that it won't, because most of the time it will. I hope this makes sense. Um, vellum, like I said, it's very easy. You'll, as soon as you do it the first time, you'll be surprised at how easy it is. Just because it is a higher end program doesn't mean it needs to be inaccessible or difficult to use. In fact, a lot of the reason it is a premium program is its user friendliness. Um, but that's Vellum. Um, it's a great tool and something that definitely is worth looking into.